So I'm just going to ice down the full barra and the large caddies and a cup of pomfret I've caught so far for the night. So I'm just going to break two 10 kilo bags in there. Now it doesn't really matter if you're using party ice or some guys use their own block ice. Doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's cold, it's got to be freezing. So I'll put some nice clean seawater in there. I just go sort of side it. So, so we'll put these four nice barra in there now, gutted and gill barra. They will just drop, drop in temp so fast because all the ice slurry gets in there in their belly cavity there and just drops the temp super quick. Keep the quality good. So put all them in there. Go to the catfish next. Big caddies. I've cut the spines off. Because when it's moving around or whatever, they can punch the side of your air skin and break it. So we don't want to do that. Big caddies. That's what I mean. There's no such thing as bycatch anymore. Pomfret. It's another, another really sought after species in Australia. It's that heap of these are actually imported into the country because we don't, we don't have a fishery for them here. They're here, but to actually catch them is a whole nother, nother issue. So I've just put all the fish in the ice slurry there. I'll get the bladders, put them in a bag, one of the ice bags. They can go in too, keep them nice and cool. Put all this ice back in, over the top. Always bring heaps of ice, even if you think you're not gonna do real well. You just cannot afford, as a fisher, to not bring enough ice, it's just madness. Even if we don't use it all tonight, you can put it back in the freezer. Use it another night, use it tomorrow night because we'll be going again. I'll get all my guts here, all the offal, the gills and the guts of the barrows for the shark hooks. Keep them too. If I was crabbing at the moment, epic crab pot bait. Too good. And of course you're taking it out anyway and you're not feeding the sharks or attracting the sharks to where we're netting, which is just crazy. So I'll sit that in there. I'll wash my hands. Then I'll put all my sandwiches and drinks back in. Thanks for Diet Coke for sponsoring me. A <laughs> couple of BP Sangers there. I'll have them on the way home. Cardboard, always put cardboard over because your ice will melt a lot quicker if there's more air in there. So always put cardboard over the top, just helps your ice last that bit longer. It's done now until the, the next check of the net, I'll give everything a hose down and we'll be right to go.